Joining us now, Corey Michael Smith. Um, I don't know if you were watching last night. Oh. Did you watch last night? <laughs> it was so insane what right. happened. On Gotham, took a turn. his character took a turn, and his character becomes the Riddler. Here he is finding out something about the co-worker he has a crush on. Did you need something? Oh, yes. Uh, Detective Gordon wanted me to go through the forensic evidence of these old murders. Okay. Are those bruises? Uh. Did Officer Jordy do that? Um, he was upset and he didn't mean to. I, I said some things I shouldn't have and- Miss Kringle, this is not right. He can't just- Mr. Nigma, it is none of your concern. Now I, I need to get started on these files, so- And in that oh. moment, that very moment that we see there, you went from being a pretty good guy to the Riddler. Right? Yeah, well, uh, you know, he, he certainly makes a decision that he needs to stand up for this girl that he cares a lot about. They're standing up and standing <laughs> is up. Is that what we're calling it when you're... Yeah, uh, 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 well, you know, I mean, that is that is an unfortunate outcome of, of him trying to, you know, what, he's display passionate. his confidence. Yeah. He's certainly passionate, passionate about her. Now, we, if you weren't watching, you should know that her guy is a big cop, big, tough, macho guy. Yeah, cop. very macho. And you, nerdy guy that you play here, uh, you've had it. You... you, you you want to protect her, and you will go to great extremes. What, Should we give away what you did or not? It was well, last night. Uh, yeah, well, it was last night. I guess we're, we're not in the UK, where they're a, li they're a little behind. They're, so they're the behind folks on Twitter okay. in, in the yes. United Kingdom, poor them. Uh, but no, I, uh, I, that, that man is eventually, he, he is no longer with us. No, and not only do you uh, take care of him, you take care of him over and over and over again. I take care of him over and over. Yes, and you know, I, ideally, the, you know, it, it should come across that the, that first stab is accidental. I'm holding yes. the knife and he pulls me up right. into him. And then there's That a, was the yes. accident. And then, you know, how do you respond to that other yes. than to... Finish. Stab him 12 more times. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's a little gruesome. Uh, uh -huh. uh, but, you know, that is that was sweet, sweet Edward Nigma um, taking control. And he was mocking you all the time, too, and making fun of how you... Everyone's mocking well, Edward. Oh, Everyone's constantly no. mocking him. Don't people know when they look at you and they look at the penguin and all those people, be nice to them. Yeah. You wouldn't turn out the way you turned out. I know. I, I joke with Ben McKenzie about that sometimes. I'm like, yeah. you know, this is all Jim Gordon's fault. It's his fault. Yeah. If he understood. He would have just been a little kind. Yeah, that's right. So now we know that your character has made that turn and he's gone to the dark side. Yes. Was there anything redeeming in him after this? this is. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, one of the things I, I well, I mean, I think so. That's my job yeah. to think so. Uh, one of the things I love about this character is... Um, you know, in his eventual state of being a Riddler in this villain, he always brings some fun. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, it's a bit taunting and yes. tormenting the way so that he goes about things. So his sense of humor should so not... So when he's killing people, he's kind of cute. Yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Um, uh, no, you know, I think, I, I think the fun should always be there. I think he'll consistently have a sense of humor. When you were when you were prepping for this, and I, we, we, you guys have already been picked up for a second season, mm -hmm. did you look at like the past? Because the Riddler has always changed so many times throughout the years, and and the different in, you know, incarnations of it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's been the comics have been around for seventy five years, um, and I've looked at comics and read them from all of the many decades. Uh, and uh, that's that's pretty much what I did. You know, everyone just saw Jim Carrey Jim and Frank Gorshin. I've right. never seen. I haven't seen either of their performances. Really? Uh, Not to taint your performance, or you just haven't seen. Them? I just haven't seen them. Okay. I, I did. I haven't watched the TV show from the '60s, and I didn't watch Batman Forever. And once mm -hmm. I got this job, I didn't think it would actually be helpful to me uh, because I, I would have a tendency to emulate or. So right. you never watched it even as a kid growing up. I watched the 1989 Tim Burton. Uh, Batman did you with watch, Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson, did you which watch I love. The animated series. I watched the animated series. That was really yeah. great, wasn't it? I love those. Yeah, yeah the animated did. series yeah. are fantastic, um, and the comics are amazing. But the the diversity of the comics and how it actually changes throughout the years right. mm -hmm. was something that I found to be a great relief to me creatively. Yeah, because you, know, you could go any way you wanted. Yeah, there's there's an allowance to kind of you know put my own spin on it, and certainly you know be proud in that you know I'm going to create Corey's version of Edward. And, you know, it, it 
it will stand as it does. I like that you call him Edward because nobody's ever going to call you by that name now. It's always going to be the Riddler. <laughs> the Riddler. Right? Hey, hey, Riddle Man. Yeah, Riddle Man. Hey, Riddle Man. Okay. Um, Two more episodes, right? Two more, that's it. Gotham airs uh, Mondays at 8 on Fox. Two yes. more to go. Yes. Two more to go. What's going to happen to you? Well, you know, there is a, there is a dead body. We're left with a dead just body say, in front of me, so I have to do something yeah. with just that. Say, well, here's the answer to that. <laughs> just say, tune in. Oh, yes. No, you have to tune in. <laughs> okay. Everyone has to tune in. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet okay. you. Okay.